You can't beat a bit of English. Hello, Hammerheads. Thanks for tuning in. You know, the more I hear about this fucking bitch, the more I fucking hate this fucking bitch. I mean, what planet she on? Fucking Pluto. Lily fucking Allen. Lily's boy, 13, begins a new life in Britain. Well, I'm very sorry, you know, it... He looks about 17 to me. I thought that when I first seen the interview. When she visited him. And that's pretty young for the these child migrants. Um, 17. A teenage refugee whose plight moved Lily Allen to tears when she visited the jungle camp has arrived in Britain to be re reunited with his family. Shamja Sherin had his case fast-tracked after the singer's meeting with him in Cali. Filmed by the BBC. The fucking BBC. Don't fucking talk to me about the fucking BBC. What does it stand for, the BBC? Bollocks, bastards and cunts. Brought him to officials' attention. The 13-year-old smiled as he was led into a processing centre yesterday in Croydon, South London, where relatives had gathered outside. Alan, pictured, 31, tweeted that she was so happy he had made it to... Continued on page five. The UK safely and won't be risking his life jumping onto moving vehicles. Well, you know, he shouldn't be doing that. Nobody should be doing that. It's illegal. It's against the law. Doesn't matter how old you are. How, how old you pretend you are. Because he's not 13. He's older than that. He's probably 17, 18, 18 or something, you know. I mean, it, <laughs> if I did that when I was that age... I would have been good. I would have been sent to fucking Borstal over, not him. Not the likes of these people. They're allowed to cr commit crimes. Especially in England. It's, it's their culture to be criminals. And our government and a lot of European and Western governments recognise this. Oh, but it's in their culture. They're allowed to grow up and preach hate against westerners in mosques because it's their culture it's our fault for being you know i'm not a christian i'm an atheist but it's our fault for being christians or non-muslims it's, it's our fault they're allowed to like murder us this is what our governments are saying they're allowing it to happen because they think it's it, it's racist not for them to do these things See, when he grows up and he's preaching hate in mosques and he's going out raping kids, you know, which is the norm for these people, especially the ones in the jungle in Cali, because it's, you know, it's common knowledge. If you, like, criticise what they're doing, you say it's wrong, you're racist. <laughs> you're racist. Because... You're against rape and you're against, you know, if you like, you know, you frown upon it, you're racist. It's just the way of the world now. That's what it's come to. It's get used to it because it's going to get worse and worse and worse and a whole lot fucking worse than that. Anyway, let's read a bit further down. It later emerged that his father, Hazrat Gul Sherin, once fought for a brutal Islamist Afghan warlord. There you go. She obviously hasn't done enough research, has she? The stupid fucking bottle blonde who can't sing. The 49-year-old arrived in Britain in the back of a lorry in 2005 and returned home 
for a free month holiday after being granted asylum. We flee in the fucking war to our country. What the fuck's he going back there on holiday for? Jesus fucking Christ! Tory MP David Davies says we must not be naive about this. It's no good Lily Allen turning up with tears in her eyes and all the rest of it. We need to be quite hard-nosed. Yes, we fucking do, but it's not going to happen. I mean, obviously... Obviously, it's been all over lately. The last week or so, the first child migrants being allowed to flood into Britain, getting processed and that. But they're not kids! They're not children! The average age is between the ages of 25 and 38. Jesus Christ, they must have some kind of aging disorder over there. What's the matter with this government for crying out loud? Jesus fucking wept. And now they're bringing them in with blankets over the fucking heads. Why? Probably so the public... Can't fucking see how old they really are. They shave the beards off so they look more youthful. Half of them are bloody soldiers of Allah. Just waiting for the fucking chance to make the move. What's the matter with this fucking government, man? What's the matter with them? A 14-year-old girl's been raped the other day by a gang of... Syrian refugees. The police covered it up. Because if they exposed it, it would have made them racist. I tell you, I've had it up the rear with this fucking shit. I mean, I used to want to emigrate somewhere, but where can I go? Where, where, where do I go? <gasps> Do you know how I wanted to, to go to the south of France to live one time? After all, I'm half French. France doesn't exist anymore. It's gone. It's gone. I even thought about Sweden when I was about 20 odd. Oh, I'd love to go there. There's no crime in Sweden. It's brilliant. I mean, did you ever hear any about anything bad happening in Sweden about 30 years ago. What do you hear about Sweden now? It's a fucking war zone, that's what. Everywhere, no-go fucking zones. You know, I even wanted to visit Germany, West Germany, because some great pro-rock bands come out of West Germany in the 70s, didn't they? Germany's gone. Germany does not exist anymore. It's... It's no longer. Piece by piece. Muslims... Uh, this is not immigration. This is not mass immigration. Or migration. It's... It's an invasion. And it's been... Helped by Western governments. They're, they're not only allowing it to happen, they are forcing it to happen. They're making it happen. That, my friends, is the reality. This is the kind of world we're living in now. Lies. Hypocrisy. Every turn... Every step of the way, that, that's all there is. No country is, no Western country is safe. It's not just Western countries, because they've been knocking on Japan's door. Japan won't have them. They let a few in. They caused mayhem. They only let ninety in. And there was mass rapes within a week, caused by the ninety that they let in. Not all of them, obviously, but. <laughs> About 20% of them all committed crimes, sexual-related crimes. 
China didn't want any of them in. But they were lent on by other countries, other governments. No, you've got to. We're doing it, so you've got to. It's only fair. You've got a bigger country than us. Ne, 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 ne. So China let them in. What happens? Within a few years, no go zones. Fucking, you know, Islamic areas. Chinese weren't allowed to fucking areas in their own country. Mosques went up here, there, everywhere. In certain areas of fucking China. So they fucking got sick of it. And now they ban fucking Islam in certain parts. And there's an uproar. <sighs> Australia, they're suffering now. America, well... <laughs> you know what's happening in America, don't you? America, the one country. The one country. I never thought in my lifetime I would see the slow decline of it under Islamification when it's happening. You know, they've got Sharia courts there now, you know. They're trying to put a block on them, you know. But it's only a matter of time. I mean, you've got the soldiers of Odin, haven't you? Roman fucking Europe. These are worrying times. I'm not sitting here being racist because I'm a fucking racist. If I get any fucking comments on this, yeah, racist, wait, 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 I'm fucking not. You know, a real Muslim, right? A real Muslim is an apostate. They don't believe in fucking Sharia law and shit like that. Oppression of women. They don't make the women dress up in fucking bin bags and stuff. You know, these real Muslims, apostates, these are the ones who've turned the back on all this extremist propaganda bullshit. And they, they've got, they're marked for death from the extremists because they don't like it. Ooh, that, you're not a real Muslim. Nah, but they are real Muslims. They don't agree with half the barbarism that goes on in the freaking Quran. You know what I mean? See you later.